beautiful. Like a box. It's yeah. It's beautiful. I see. Because, like, dude, whatever, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's great. <clears throat> Good for you. Thanks. Yeah. Like, I'm excited. It's great. It's also a different vein. Like, what, like, you know, just like every every decade of life, you're you're in a different mindset. Like in terms of like where I'm at right now for like developing stand up or like t wanting to talk about shit. Yeah, I'm completely void of like my old thoughts and like I can't rework some of the shit I've I used to say. I tried to do that as a safety blanket. Like in terms of like let's prepare, let's take three old bits that I know worked. Yeah, sometimes you can though. Sometimes maybe. I think a lot of times you can. Sometimes there's like a, an old bit that like the, there's still a core of it that's who you are, but then you have like a whole new sort of like take on it. It's yeah. way better. Yeah. I don't know. I'm fucking nervous. My mother, I talked to my mother today. <laughs> this is, yeah, here he Yo, is. Working oh. bits. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I meant. Man, I was just like, there's yeah. traffic. You guys said there's yeah. traffic? So anyway, me and mom are Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. I have way too much pride to work a bit in front my of my mother. Game. Let me tell you. What no, is she so doing? I'm talking to her. And she's like, uh, this is so crazy because I don't know where she asked me. She's like, are you doing stand up? She, I talked to her in like a month. And she's like, I haven't talked to you. Don't call me back. You know, all this shit. All the mom shit. And she's like, I was listening to a comic on NPR. And you know what I realized? He had a mentor. And you never had a mentor, Tom. And maybe... You know, maybe that's what you were missing. Yeah, maybe it is. Told him how to hold a mic. Told him how to keep his cadence at a certain level. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. You're all over the place. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, this is why I don't talk to you every month. <laughs> Did she listen to the pod? Uh, no. So oh, she just hates your cadence. She, yeah, she <laughs> hates the way you hear every day. She fucking hates the way I talk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> here's the, here's the facts. We talked to my mom. She shits on my dad immediately because I was the only one that would shit on my dad in front of my mom to give her more respect. Because you she's know, just, is your dad around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're together, and uh, we'll get into that. But uh, <laughs> I got I got stories. Too. I know. <laughs> I fucking know. Uh, no, I fucking know, and I'm excited for it. But uh, no, I want to go back to your mom thing real quick before you get before you go. Yeah, they're together. Yeah, but not. In a way, right? Okay. They're not connected. In the house, Emotionally, though. yeah. Yeah, they're, they're the married. House. They're married and Catholic. Yeah. Philly? Yeah, they're outside of Philly now. They moved from Delco <laughs> Stage to, four marriage. To, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stage four Dude, marriage. Let me tell you something. They beeps from random room. <laughs> but, <laughs> Dude, the tumor is growing beyond control. Yeah, yeah. But they're learning These to bitches, live with it. They're, they're both going to fall at the it. same yeah. time. Like a Rocky belt. <laughs> so she's like... Uh, she loves, like, as soon as she sees me enter the door, I know she's been getting battered around physic, not physically. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, like, he, he jokes, he jokes and fucks her, fucks her up. So when the kids come, my mom, gets, my mom's like, <laughs> it's because me and my brothers will fuck with my dad in front of my mom. And my okay. mom loses her shit to the point where she's coughing, laughing. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> she doesn't have the, the comebacks and all that stuff, but she's fucking hilarious. I'm laughing on the street. At my mother's natural stories, trying to get mm -hmm. off the phone because I was like, "Mom, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go." And then she goes, "Okay, one more." <laughs> this is how she ended this last conversation. One more thing, your cousin Keelan uh, met a guy in AA. They're getting married. Um, you know, you want to know what he what he does for a living? I'm like, "Mom, I gotta, go, I gotta go." She goes, "He makes pocketbooks out of seatbelts." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I can't. I couldn't write that. What if I went the to fuck? master's class of comedy writing, and this bitch is just spewing fucking gold every time she talks? Shout out Keelan, she rules. There was a phase there where people were making like duct tape wallets. Yeah, that was disgusting. Dead serious. <laughs> really? The fucking the bullshit wallet that flips nine fucking ways. Yeah. The magic magicians dude. here. Where are my keys? Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. always hated that bullshit. Yeah, thing. that was a virgin's purse in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> if you got three folds on a wallet, well, suck well, bird, well, dude. Well, yeah. Get out of my face. These Please. real quick yeah. before we move on from your your yeah. mom yeah. and cadence yeah. and whatever. Yeah, you're talking about <laughs> decades and comedy and all this kind of stuff. You can't go back to your older stuff. You just can't. No, I know. Let it die. Shoot it. Get <laughs> yes. a gun. Literally, yes. write on a piece of paper and blow it away. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. But also the, the the two things that are pretty great. One, your cadence. Is, look, I don't want to be a, a, a your your mom's wrong. 
There, there's. Of course there's, she's fucking wrong. Yeah, thank you. Good. I'm just. I was. Yeah. I, I was just like I hope. You think I'm taking her knowledge? I don't you. know. Oh, you, you seem to be into the fucking seatbelt wallet thing. <laughs> We got three. I was going to give you guys both one. I love this. I love this. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Happy Labor Day, you cunts. <laughs> Columbus Day's coming up. Who wants a seatbelt wallet? Seatbelt yeah. wallet. It's just got an Close. Italian doing a fucking... A little fucking buckle on it. Yeah. Um, but no. To the, your cadence ways. is fine. It's your old material that yeah. needs to go. That's oh, that's dope. not what I was saying. That's hilarious. Chris. That's, That's not what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, shoot that out of my best friend. Throw me on the goddamn bus. No, where you're at though in life now, you just can't. That's what I'm saying. And you know this. 100. percent So, and and the other thing here is, and this is over the last few years, this has been this is a good thing about comedy. It's also like, you know, comedies are miserable fucking existence at yeah. points. You know what I mean? But one good thing is that there is no more. There's no more age stuff. Yeah. You anybody can do anything. Like ten years ago, even you'd have to be. You got to be 21. Hot, tight, yeah. big tits, yeah. huge dick, yeah. whatever the hell. It still works for women. Sure. But for, for anybody to go like, we want this person. Now, dude, you could be a fucking 68-year-old goddamn laundromat yeah. owner. Yeah, 42. Not you. Oh. 68-year-old laundromat <laughs> owner. And you're a, you're a TikTok sensation. You're selling out fucking hilarities. You're in Cleveland getting blown. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like you don't need blown. Getting blown. <laughs> That's the laundromat guy yeah. that's sucking his dick. I feel like Hold there's on, a 95 like like from somewhere. Are you the laundromat guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anytime somebody sees somebody in a magic box, they want to suck him. Am True. I wrong? It's True. just like if you watch somebody enough on this fucking magic yes. box, yes. somebody will suck you if yeah. they see you enough. Because yeah. they want to be big in the magic box too. Everybody wants to be big in the magic box. <laughs> and the crazy thing is we can all be big in the magic box. We can all be big in the magic box. So anyways, any, so I love that you're <laughs> coming back. I think it's great. Right? Yeah. And now wherever you're at in life, it's going to be better than it was before. Yeah. And buddy, you could fucking you, you get blown in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> We're going tomorrow. Come on. Columbus, I swear Columbus, to God. Columbus, Columbus, Columbus. Oh, it's a same short shit. drive. It's a yeah, short yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah. Would you not make the, the drive? Same Somebody... fucking hellhole. God. Ohio, yeah, shout nobody... out Ohio. You living in that fucking <laughs> yeah, dump. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Nobody gets blown in Columbus. Gets, oh, Cleveland, though. <laughs> Nobody gets blown in Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. Someone's going to approach you. Someone's going to approach you in Columbus like, you're living the wrong dream. <laughs> it's Cleveland. Your cadence is all over the place. Otherwise, I'd suck your dick right now. <laughs> you're up. You're down. I don't know what's yeah. going on. The cane, you're so confused. The cane signal legitimately is a thing that I think about every once in a while because I go up, I go you're down. You're wild. <clears throat> you're wild. <laughs> you like are. You're a thing? You're wild. Dude, you know what this is right now? This is a Spider Man. Meme. Point man. <laughs> <laughs> That's all this is. Yes. Me, and, me, and this me and you in the alley of a comedy club. You know what's, <laughs> you know what's funny? Both not maybe, getting blown. Maybe they, <laughs> <laughs> then we're just standing 69 each other. Two fucking seatbelt wallets fall out of our pockets. Just the, <laughs> the loudest 69 of all. Whoa! Time. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I can see, oh, I can see fuck, you two dude. bitching at each other about how it's getting done the oh, whole time. Man. Dude, but the cadence thing, maybe there's a personal <laughs> thing. <laughs> two seagulls fucking oh. fighting over a bagel. The, <laughs> <laughs> like, the cadence thing, I think, is like a personal oh. thing, though, when I hear it as well. Because I go, I can't stop I'm fucking sucking your dick. <laughs> I, I mean, that one look. Uh, the, 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 so, anyways, the, yeah. when I hear the Canes thing too, I also go, I'm also talking to people. So, when I hear it from your mom, I hear, I go, fuck you. I'm not even talking to anybody. Yeah. But this is why certain people, that you got to go up, you got to go down. If you're all up, people tune the fuck yes. out. Yes. And if you're all down, people tune the fuck mm -hmm. out. I used to just be all up, 100%. Pure fucking punch him in the face with your fucking voice. Eventually, yes. people are doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because. You're fucking, you're, you're just noise. Yes. Now, at some point in time. You yes. gotta bring it down. Here's the problem. And be a regular human being sometimes. My mother was trying to, to you assimilate and like, <laughs> my mother's trying to connect with me going, I listened to an NPR thing about comedy. She was trying to say the right things, but like my mother has always done, the final message is way off from all the lessons she's learned throughout the fucking, the learning process. Everything she said was like, whoa, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to become close to her in this moment. And the final dismount is like a fucking, a, a lady trying to do a, a, a triple Lindy and then belly flopping. I'm like, well, you didn't learn anything. Yeah. You don't fucking, you know, you don't say that because per, the purpose of, not the purpose, one of the, the, the most entertaining aspects of comedy is like the, 
you know, the misdirection. And that comes with tone as well. Like the tonality of like what you're talking about. That the heightened voice, the lower voice, it's it's a roller coaster. It's why I, why I, the fuck would I want to be the same tone? You because I think about this every once in a while with like because <clears throat> people say that I'm angry and like all right, but I'm more like cartoon angry than anything. I don't walk yeah, around yeah. angry. Mm -hmm. But I always find it interesting when there's people that are angry. They are angry for the whole hour that they're on stage, but they're angry at like Abortion, okay? Yeah. Then they're angry about forks. Yeah. You yeah. can't be the same level of anger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, you can. Fucking three prongs. Yeah, yeah, just dude. losing their mind. Oh, dude, I hate three prongs. I genuinely I do. I fork. I'm pretty three sure I times, that Three times. <laughs> that's why four I, times That's why I gorilla nothing. yell every time I throw a fork out. Like, <laughs> I'm just Dude. aborting natural forks. Aborting forks. <laughs> yeah. The guy brings it together at the end. This is why I had to abort all those yeah, forks. Yeah, I got to abort all Good night, Cleveland. No joke. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> 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 just stab <him> so <laughs> Fully getting blown Dude, up. Cleveland. No joke. Every, every Thanksgiving, Christmas, my mom always breaks out these old, like this old silverware. From yeah, like, to impress. No, no. Yeah, fuck. It's like her grandparents' silverware. Yeah. And it's like the knives don't cut and there's three tines on the forks. <laughs> it's just like you can't eat. Yeah. You're not fucking around with the three prongs? <laughs> yeah. I'm not That's kidding. disgusting. Those are old forks. They're That's when food was that big. Yeah. <laughs> Rations. First of all, you're, you're, you're cooking a bear in the woods with a three prong <laughs> fork. <laughs> right. If your mom's 70 and she's got her grandmom's forks. Yeah, that's old. That bitch was, yeah, they were hunting. <laughs> These were on a train yeah. at some point. They, a a like, guy tried to steal like the, them from yes. guns. You know what I mean? Yeah. They dry their clothes and themselves on lines. <laughs> yeah. Like they're fucking. <laughs> we I love the idea that three times is yeah. low tech. <laughs> I the love backyard. a clothesline. What? I love a clothesline. You see it? Really? I still I, have... no, no, I didn't see it. But as you brought it up. I, 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 my whole, like my grandparents had a clothesline. My yeah. great grandparents I had a clothesline, clothesline growing up. Maritimes, where I'm from, Canada. Yeah. A lot of clotheslines. Yeah. It's a fucking fiesta. So this, y y I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. If it's in the back, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you'll see, it looks like a tiny ladder that continues to go up. Yeah. It's in the back of only about 20% of, of yeah. yards. Because there's not that many yards in Astoria. Yeah. But that line. <laughs> Anyone else would take it down. What? Yeah. yeah. I Anybody think most else? people would, yeah. 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 But it's historic. It's it, maybe it's, it's protected. Historic. It's historical. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's protected go. by fat old Greeks. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to put a little license plate going established in fucking, I don't know, 1935. <laughs> Germany was on the up and up. We should this have bitch fucking running, <laughs> running giant underwear out for fat kids. <laughs> Everybody's fat in this store. <laughs> there was, was there even fat people in the 30s? No. No. In the movies, Dude, in the 90s, were. you saw one which is now an average person. On the beach, everybody's talking shit. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's probably like 180. You know, five I was eight. Nev I was never on the beach. I was hiding in shade under cars. I can't imagine. Yeah, but they were never. Yeah. They were imagine. never in shape either. <laughs> what? They were never like in shape either. We're talking about fat people. No, I know. I'm saying people in general. What are you talking about? I'm saying people back in the day. That's bullshit. They Which weren't back as in the fat. Day. Dad if you're talking in the 90s, people were fucking ripped. Yes. In the dude, 90s, you're people were ripped. Completely but wrong. In the 80s, the 70s, 80s? 80s? Are you 80s crazy? is worse. Everybody no, was no, fucking no. Yeah. Everybody's roided up. There's dude. a couple guys. Look at the, uh, the pro athletes. <laughs> <There's a couple. laughs> Two guys. <laughs> Arnold, Two guys. Stallone. There was Lou Ferrigno. They carried the yeah. whole industry. <laughs> dude, and they're not, they were like, if you go back and watch that, they like weren't even that jacked. Dude, everybody was in shape in the 80s. That's really funny. Look at the Pro athletes, dude, they look ridiculous. Which no, team, that's because sports? of their materials. They're baseball, wearing. baseball, baseball is a different. Deal. It's you not the material, dude. No, they're wearing giant fucking jerseys covering all their fucking. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm telling you, <laughs> dude. I I <laughs> look at look at any. Look at the, the 86 Mets. The 86 Mets look like a softball team. I love team. that this all comes down to one team. <laughs> there was no, 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 no rip people in the no, 80s. The, no, 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 not in the, the world. The 86 I Mets. I swear to God. Look. <laughs> Wait a minute. My that's dad. Actually, that's actually not rip. A good team. <laughs> that's actually a good team. Also, dude. Is that Piazza? I don't know anything about it. No, Piazza is no, uh, early no. 2000s. 2000s? This is like Are Keith you Hernandez. Sure? Yeah. He had fucking. Uh, Mid 2000s. Really? He had goddamn Super Nintendo games. Mike Piazza's Piazza? fucking yeah. baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Super Nintendo. Hey, what is he? That's like 90s. Early 2000s? Uh, no, his peak? He was probably like late. He was probably late like 90s, 90s 2000s. Yeah. You're he telling me when Kid Rock, on the Mets when Kid Rock was like, big, Piazza yeah. was catching. Is this serious? I, think so. I, think I don't so. know anything. So. Is this serious? Let me tell you something. I think Nathan? so. 
that sentence you just said <laughs> has never been said <laughs> in the existence of man. <laughs> I promise you. Isn't that fucking special? <laughs> when, you, when you hear Caden's, a sentence, Caden, you can you see. I went up a little bit. I hear you. I'm trying to bring him in. I know. <laughs> Let's bring him back down. That's waking him up. They reached out for a chicken finger. What the <laughs> fuck was that? I get it. What a line. There's a, there's a lot of people when Kid Rock sitting was big, in their cubicle. Mike Piazza jumping. was fucking great. Like yeah. no one's ever. I guarantee you, no one's That's ever said an that. That's an original sentence. Piazza has. Yeah. Kid Rock has. Yeah. They both look. They, they Spider Man meme each yes. other somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> When Kid Rock did City Field, yeah. if that was even around, he just yeah. they both looked at each other. <laughs> yeah, that was we both Shay. sold this place out. <laughs> Piazza was full Shay. Yeah, people really hate. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything. People really hate Kid Rock now. And you know, dude, Shane just did a show with Kid Rock yeah, in uh, he's Nashville. Right. Hilarious. I know yeah. that he's like, yeah, he goes to the uh, Zanies. I know that he goes to the club there all the time. Somebody's saying that he. They were telling me that he went to see them, and he had like a whole bunch of strippers yeah. or whatever the Apparently fuck. Apparently, he's up the man. Time. He just yells shit. He said he interrupted the whole show. Of course. Yeah, Did, he's he's gone the Nugent route. We forget. Yeah, yeah, Teddy's crazy. Yeah. Do we like I and I wasn't here for Nugent, but I was here for Kid Rock. Yeah. People forget. If you weren't here, ball with the ball. K- Kid Rock. Look at get, get Dude, fucking serious. Yeah, get yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, like, I'm, not, res- I'm, talking, I'm not talking about put what some he, respect on Kid Rock. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about like what he uh, I'm not talking about what the fuck he votes for. Thing. I'm talking about if you were here from 99 to like 04. This motherfucker had fucking hits. Yes, dude. Yeah. You go to sporting thing that's fucking being played. Goddamn WrestleMania, video games. Yeah. They it, the, the guy the guy fucking the guy kicked ass. Yeah. That's all. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you're mainline and straight kid. Yes. Yeah. Dude, all <laughs> kid. All uncut, kid. Uncut, uncut kid. kid. Yeah. Dude, no joke. You can no deal on uncut kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but people I don't know it seems like there's some younger people that are like I, they hate him for and it's good you want to hate him for that but people just talk like he sucks he always sucks and it's like nah man you yeah, just dude. weren't here dude I'm sorry and you didn't even have to like him at the time but the motherfuck him and Cheryl Crow dude. picture get get fucked yes dude, you can, thank nobody you. can tell me that they at the time <laughs> they you. weren't like fucking weeping in their cars yes. because their goddamn you know, yes. spouse is dead yeah it's a great point if yeah. you want <laughs> No, it's a great, it's a great point. <laughs> it really is. You cannot argue it. It's ironclad. When someone talks with passion about nonsense like this, yeah, yeah. it really gets me going, dude. Same. It really gets dude, me I'm going. Dude, I'm not fucking around. It's my favorite. I, I swear <laughs> to you, I'll listen to anybody talk about anything as yeah. long as they have a couple of like, I like complaining. And when yeah. people come, like say something goes like this, they go, this Gatorade sucks. I'm like, yeah, keep why? going. Elaborate. Yeah, and if they just tell go, me I don't why. know, it sucks. I go, yeah. I'll get fucked. Like, yeah. yeah, you didn't do anything. Tell me yeah. the bottle's bullshit. Tell, tell me, me you the got fucking beat logos. by your father while sipping blue Gatorade. <laughs> tell me something <laughs> no, traumatic. I don't want to hear that. What? I don't either. That's a That's great a, story. <laughs> blue ice cross or whatever it's called. <laughs> yes. My just dad trying to relax. me in the yeah. head with a fucking Gatorade. <laughs> also, do you know the Frosted Gatorade is just cherry? Yeah. Is that going to fuck your mind up right now? There's a frosted. Gatorade. <laughs> There's a frosted that's... Gatorade. It's one of the best fucking flavors. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's a it's flavor. It's just cherry. It's a flavor. Yeah, it's white. It looks like cum. It looks like horse cum. Oh, that one. Okay. I frosted, thought you meant there's like a frozen Gatorade. White. And I was like, excuse nah, me? No, no, no. I almost pushed this Not frozen. ran out the door like a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> frosted, cold. Okay, got you. Dude, it's called frosted. Lights out. But when somebody told me that, I was, <laughs> somebody told me that, I was like, don't say Dude, that. It was like Kid Rock well, in 99. Fucking yeah, huge. Yeah, lights out. Did you guys watch that fucking um, <laughs> Woodstock 99? Yes. Yeah. The doc? Yes. Unbelievable. So you watch the doc and it takes, again, I was like fucking whatever at the time. And you go, oh yeah, you forget too. Limp Bizkit fucking kicked Rule. Yeah, yeah. People, can, people can say whatever the fuck they want. What are you talking about? You can about? say whatever yeah. you want. You can say whatever you want. I don't like him today. He sucks now. Dude, 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 dude. I apologize you weren't here. Man. I understand you 100%. were born in 2003 and, and your whole life is whatever. You missed, and you, you don't need to go. It's like, like if you get a time machine, you're not going to go back to fucking yeah. listen to Roland again. But at that time, <laughs> yeah. can you imagine that day? You're sitting there, you're covered in mud. It's the 90s. Okay? It's not mud. It's also shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no bathroom. Yeah, yeah. That mud. That when that guy <laughs> slid, I was like, oh, The whole time I was like, that's not, you went on a diary of l- luge or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> You know, I had a diary of Just Typhoon Lagoon, pure <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> that was, when he, when they went, it was just shit. And then they, yeah. what I, the editor's perfect. The editor goes, let's get a guy sliding face first into human <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude, fucking- ball with the ball, the bang, the dang, diggy, diggy. I gotta say, I'm not buying it. I think what it's do you hype. Mean? I think, it's, I think they're hyping it. What's I think hype? it was fine. I think the whole thing was fine. 
You, oh, the, you think it's? Do you think you think it's like an recut? Shut the fuck up! You think Dude, it's? A what do you think it's a sky lounge at yeah. fucking Laguardia? <laughs> Everybody just had their own. No, space. no. I just think Free people cookies. had a good time. It got a little messy. So you're saying there was probably like twenty? They they took. Dude, if people a small... were sliding through human shit, yes, there would be data. About deaths. That's the data. And they we yeah. saw the data. <laughs> no. you know what I mean, there'd, there'd be data. Like what? Yeah. There'd be evidence. Yeah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> All you're doing is sliding through shit. We he just it. he just defined a documentary. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's two hours of data. <laughs> no, it's not. It's four hours. Visual <laughs> representation. No, that could be. That's mud, as far as I'm concerned. I like right. it. No, I like it. I like yeah, I like yeah. that we've reached this point in time. Where literally, remember when people didn't use to just question everything? Yeah. yeah. And now, is this a microphone? Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Could be. Maybe it's a can of soup. Yeah. Dude. Cool. I, I, not I you. Well, specifically. Yeah. No. They slipped. I can't and watch. Shit. It. it was shit. Yeah. No. That's how cynical I've become. Is if information is being delivered to me and it's entertaining, it's false. Right. That's our whole podcast. Like, if something's true, it's boring. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah, this country's really falling. It's, it's, it's gone. If yeah. it's true, it's boring. You'd be the like next president me will a... be a can of Mountain Dew. Yeah. Like frosted, frosted, I hope so. Goo. I hope so. And so, you know what his opponent says? He's I just cherry. So. Yeah. He's, yeah, just, yeah. Fuck it. He's just cherry. He's just cherry. Don't look into it, but if you think about it, it's cherry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's such a mind fuck, dude. He's like, why didn't you vote for him? He's like, well, he just said cherry sucked. He had nothing yeah. after that. Yeah, yeah, just change your color. Yes, he didn't even complain about why cherry. There's That's a it. pit in the middle. There's a fucking stem. Dude. The whole thing. There's so many reasons to complain about cherry. Why are they always in one big bowl? Can I get one cherry? You want me to eat 50 of these? That's a great analogy for like changing a, a president from white to black, but having the same color because they're the same fucking dog shit. Yeah, you cherries know? and Mountain They're, they're all the same flavor. Throw yeah. out here to fuck us. I want to follow. You know what I'm I saying? No, but I want to. This <laughs> okay, is what I'm oh, wait, wait, wait. You're saying. If uh, this politician yeah. has proven himself to be cherry, <clears throat> looks like a cherry, acts like a cherry, you change the color. Uh huh. The truth comes out, tastes and looks like cherry, yeah. treating you like a cherry. It's all cherry. It's a you're mind saying fuck. no matter who is running it, yes. it's a mess. It's you're a mess. eating out of Unless... It's a big cherry mess running through a, a <laughs> luge of shit. <laughs> While and Limp Bizkit <laughs> yeah. is, is blessed yeah, break stuff. <laughs> to distract the fat idiots. Yeah. Yes. Look at us, guys. Make them eat each other. We just brought <laughs> everything together. Crazy. This is the key to winning any argument is you make a, an analogy so vague it cannot be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and people dispute it. Yes. People anyway, Joe Rogan's here, guys. Joe, <laughs> you tell me the world isn't a bowl of cherry. He, yeah. he, cartwheel, <laughs> he cartwheels in. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Just covered this is in a giant fucking, cherry. He'd be covered in mud, right? Oh, big cherry! He's big. He's, dre he's dressed as a big Dude, cherry. Just Kool Aid man's through the fucking wall. <laughs> you pussies do MMA, <laughs> man. But if you were, uh, uh, we'll cap this. I guess whatever. Yeah, what what are you talking I'm, about? I'm, 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 I'm choosing segments. <laughs> You want to do our ad read too, Nathan? The balls of um, you. Casper. <laughs> Big old mattresses. Put your dick right in one. No, is don't listen to that. Cut that. Is that no, you got no. Okay. no, we're not Casper. Who do you got? What do you got? DraftKings today. Oh, DraftKings. Fuck oh. yeah, man. I just fucking lost fucking $60,000 on DraftKings. Well, what? If you bet a little better. You I bet on the 86, man. <laughs> they don't play anymore. <laughs> They're all out of shape. They're all built like bowlers. God. Apparently, Lenny Dykstra. Chris. Yeah. Dude, we just did a podcast with Lenny Dykes. Yeah, Ian's. Ian's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that. Fascinating yeah. man. I believe obviously it. for the party and shit. But like when he dropped down to be like intimate and such, he was so wonderful. <laughs> Is he a guy? What? <laughs> this the and such. <laughs> when he dropped. When he, what did, when he what dropped did he down to be intimate and such. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I took my mom's notes early. All right. Yeah. That was like a meatball sub trying to be sensitive. <laughs> Is that why I'm sweating? Hands <laughs> such. I'm sweating from lying to you yes. guys. <laughs> I can't deal with all the anxiety. <laughs> also, the woman in this, my friends. The woman in this casket was yeah. a great lady yeah. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just tap it. Uh, but I believe that because he <laughs> he was a guy. I mean, he already did the podcast, so whatever. But like he he did a lot of fucking drugs and shit, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude. Oh, he's nuts. So dude. I could assume that he would have unbelievable stories. And also, if he did want to get um, open or whatever, I mean, <clears> my <throat> God, the, the, what he would be able to access from what he's gone through would yeah. just be fucking unbelievable. A plethora of yeah. fucking information. Yeah. That was... I was like, every now and then just... Like back to my childhood, Ian 
obviously is like that. That's his fucking hero. I had a is post. It? I had a poster of Dykstra on my wall. Did from he the play 90- for the- Philly? Yeah, oh, he did. Okay, yeah, ninety three. Yeah. He was the, like one of the best players. Yeah. And at that point, he was roided up, doing coke, doing opiates, yeah. o- on a daily basis. He said this on the fucking couch, and yeah. I'm looking at him, and the whole time I'm just thinking <clears> of my dad. Just going to you. He was taking he like three amoxicillin a day because he was fucking so many disgusting. He chips. would take STD medications on the reg. Like, wow! Like, like fucking yeah. I didn't mean to say that as loud as I did. <laughs> that was your mom would have been like, "Bring it down." <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. I didn't yeah. even. Can I tell you this? This is how little I'm fucking garbage. I didn't even know you could buy <laughs> STD medication. Well, he had hookups. Yeah, yeah. Like, go. He's got. You can't. Yeah. You Thank can't. You, you got to go to a clinic. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, because I have a trip planned. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's gonna walk into CVS. Yeah. Where's the dick stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the Dykstra package. <laughs> Opiate steroid. Dude. No, the la- the other one. Imagine walking yeah. in in full Dykstra uniform with eye black on, being like, "Can I get my fucking my what boner pill?" Yeah. Rough game. So you can call it that. Yeah. Not yeah. yet. After the game. Yeah, After yeah. the game. Rough game. Yeah, I got a double header coming up Saturday night. Dude, Two I women. still. I have no idea. Like this. <laughs> The amount of drugs those guys were on. It's just like, it's how do you do it? I did. How um, do you do it? I took a half an edible uh, a couple of years ago, and I still, I don't want to do that again. Really? Yeah. Do you really, don't do any drugs? Not really. I'm, I might smoke weed once, twice a year. Same you as don't drinking. drink either. I used to drink is the thing, so I don't drink now. Not really. But why not? Yeah. I drank fucking Bad. hard from 13 to 19. Me like too. A, did you? Right. I started, yeah, I started in seventh grade. I started like eight, yeah. yeah. I had an ulcer at fifteen, so I, I had what? To take huge pills that were like, I couldn't swallow them. I had to chew them sometimes. Oh my it was ass. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Fifteen year old jamming a pill in his ass. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Where? Which way? No, is it's class? just my ulcer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, I forget my locker code. <laughs> Dude, these pills lodged in my ass. Oh my Dude, god! How did you know you had an ulcer? Just from like the Man. reflux and pain. I had, yeah, yeah no, one, I know, but like one night, I uh, one night I, I woke up with like crazy stomach pain, and I was, uh, you know, when you have how much were you drinking? I was drinking, um, me and my friend every Wednesday we called it Wasted Wednesday, right? Me and him would each get a quart, a qu- so I'd have a quart of vodka, and it came with a little cranberry thing. And he'd do the same. And we made this little bar in the woods. We found a fucking flipped over fridge in the woods. Dude. And it was the best. We made like a little fire. Other people would come, whatever. Just but great. I was drinking a quart to myself at times. So it was like, at I mean, 15. I, quart's like, what, 20, what do you got? 26 ounces? At 15. Yeah. Whatever gallon. Just 15, 16. So too much. Too much. Yeah. I couldn't do, if I did that right now, I, I think I'd go right to the hospital. Like legitimately. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking. It's crazy. <clears throat> so one night uh, I had crazy stomach pains and you know when like sometimes you have a stomach pain if you like move you fart sure yeah. I meant I meant <laughs> yeah. let them go dude I was yeah. gonna say if you like you sit in a certain it's just it, the pain's kind of gone you know what I mean yeah, yeah yeah this was no dice so I was on the ki- I was on the bathroom floor crying holding my stomach fucking flipping the fuck out my mom comes in screaming at a hundred and uh, anyways I went to the doctor the next day. And uh, she was like, Wait, "What was she screaming about? Scared, or uh, she was mad?" Yeah, at you? but he was like, annoying her. Uh, what'd you say? What was she? He, you, she, she was acted annoyed, like you or were she annoying was worried her? for you. I think she was worried, but my mom's a little bit like yours in terms of like, yeah. she doesn't really have that gear. She's starting to get it now. I actually had a conversation with her today where there's like whatever, and then at the end she goes, "Oh, I saw this movie." Yeah, but she was just like crying, pissed. You, she was not. Not. I'm talking today. She was yeah. like, "Oh, I wish I wouldn't." have. I saw this movie, like just right to this. But at the time, she's yeah. just mad. Yeah, just fucking angry. My mother did the same shit, dude. My mom. I'd had be no... throwing up at five, and she'd be like, "Oh my god, grow up, come on, throw up." And I'm like, yeah. scared that I'm like throwing up my innards and shit. Mm-hmm. She goes, "Stop being a, you know, whatever the fuck." Yeah. It's like a what you do that. type situation. Yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. So, anyways, I went to the doctor the next day, and the doctor was like, uh, "She was like, yeah, you have a fucking ulcer. You have to take pills." And she was like, "You got to stop." Because I was like, yeah, I drink. I drink. And she's like, yeah, stop drinking. <laughs> you told the doctor this. Yeah, and she was like, what Were the fuck? Were you afraid to tell the doctor? <clears throat> afraid? At, no. At that age? No. At that time, man, I was really like, 
uh, I, I, they told me to stop drinking and I didn't at all. All I did was I start, I started eating bread. I would carry around a loaf of bread and a quart of rum. Like, <laughs> that's really what I was doing. Oh so I go to parties God. and shit or like the woods I'm drinking, eating. Like, it's just disgusting. Cause I was eating the bread to, so- to soak up liquor. Yeah, but that's just, oh, like, it's, oh, it's, it's insanity. Like putting, it's like putting acid on like a sugar pill. Yeah, like it's still going to hit. Dude, and also eating a loaf of bread is not a fiesta. Like. That's not. Were other your, kids good for terrified of you? Dude. No, no, no. The this people, is the most Irish story I've ever heard. The people, in my life. the people I was, uh, <laughs> the people. You don't. I mean, you don't do this by yourself. My whole group was that. Nobody really had a dad. Everybody was kind of fucked up, and this is what we <clears throat> were doing. So they were so just she, like, "Oh, he's just got an ulcer. He's eating bread, and <laughs> drinking rum." I mean, they were the getting woods. fucked too, dude. <laughs> These people were getting fucked because we didn't. I had to learn how to drink casually. It took me years. I just drank to fucking get. Yeah. Wasted, yeah. Fucking destroyed. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, I had to take these giant pills. I had to eat them. It was ridiculous. So you you hung out with a bunch of... you. So your father... I know your father's situation. From, you know him? I thought you were going to say I know no, your no. father. I was, like, <laughs> was going to be like, wow. Hey, Joe, can you bring... <laughs> <laughs> can you bring <laughs> he's, on, uh, he's on Rogan Cherry's <laughs> shoulders. He's on a chair that doesn't fit him. Because it was for like the 80s. <laughs> back when they were fucking fat and out of Yeah, shape. dude. No one was in shape in the yeah, 80s. Yeah, nobody was in shape in the 80s. No, you, had a, you have a <laughs> joke that I, I never forgot about like uh having a catch with your dad with like the keys oh yeah hitting the chest yeah yeah was years ago right years ago yeah yeah never forgot that you're talking about um (laughs) my fucking uh it's so funny he got he had a joke about keys i never forgot it (laughs) (laughs) listen dude (laughs) take the compliment i know i know i appreciate you yeah it was about whatever it was about, about learning how to play catch without a dad whatever um but yeah 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 no, no I, I thought you seriously had a catch with your dad with keys no no i was the whole joke was i can't didn't have a i can't ball. i can't catch anything <laughs> so yeah. people the whole stupid joke was that people somebody would throw keys at me and they would just hit my chest and i'm like come on you know i didn't have a dad set yeah. them down <laughs> oh right and yes. i'll go and get them yeah yeah that's the whole joke all right we'll cut it you want me to start off <laughs> yeah let's go back and can i stand up do you have a microphone <laughs> as long as you keep your voice level we're good dude. yeah no, but tell, tell, can you talk about that? So you had multiple friends that didn't have dads. Nobody I knew had a dad. Are you kidding? No. What the fuck? What, what happened in this town? <laughs> Influx of pussy in the other town? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a surge of hot pussy yeah. in the town over. Like, hey, you know they're blowing people in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Guy gets in his trans air. <laughs> Blair's fucking kid oh, rock, dude. Cowboy. <laughs> I'm around this time. Just uh, dudes in Canada hold up maps, going, "Where the fuck is Cleveland?" <laughs> that's body to bow to bang. That bang. was our gold rush. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jeff, Tom. pink rush, <laughs> the old pink rush, <laughs> shifting for fucking pussy, pussy. in the goddamn river, yeah. dude. <laughs> Sock again, uh, license plate, uh, woman. <laughs> <laughs> So um, all the dads tire. in the town just piled into the car. <laughs> they were gone. Off. They clown carted it and they drove away. The uh, a lot of people in the Maritimes don't fucking have dads. A lot of it's like some of the poorest provinces that there are, and a lot of people explain go, the Maritimes. Maritimes is a collection of provinces in the east coast of Canada. It's New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI. And that's it. The Newfoundland's over there, but it's 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 not part of them. It's just farther east. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, people go from there out. They used to anyway out west for oil people go out to alberta and work on the fucking oil fields and shit yeah mm-hmm. so that's what a lot of goddamn dads oh, okay so did. they would come into town sleep with a woman get out all back for work well or they uh, just fuck a lady in their town and be like well i'm 20 yeah do i want a kid i, I got a couple of fucking metallica tapes and they just blare yeah. those and <laughs> drive away you know what i mean Damn. so i mean one and the people that i did know that had like that i hung out with that had dads one guy's dad, and I always thought this was much worse than my situation. His dad walked out at 10 when he was 10. This yeah. guy just straight up looked at this whole family Jesus. and was like, I don't want to be here anymore and bailed. And I was always like, man, that's so much worse, so much worse. than what I yeah. had. That's like being Wait, so blind he left from birth. Never knew him? I met my dad once when I was five. Okay. Yeah. But I didn't know, I didn't know him. No. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, Fuck. that's better. <laughs> that is better because he didn't get to know you and then go no. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So yeah. this guy, like you know, ten years and then his fucking dad just is like, yo, out. I don't. I don't know how you do it. Then I don't you know take how you it leave personal. A kid. Yeah, huh? you would take it personal at that point. Well, you have to. I mean, I. 
yeah, he that guy he had would like have to take a person some fucking anger issues. Yeah, yeah. But also, like, how do you, I don't know? How, you're a man, <laughs> right? You're you're, yeah, you're an adult. Yeah. I can't even leave a fucking cat. I know yeah. somewhere. I couldn't do it. I, yeah. I even if I went to and I'd be like, all right, bye. And you you go you one last look, and this little cat is just like my eyes. What do you, dude? I can't do it. How do you do it to a man person that you fucking like raised? Do you know it's like crazy? Sh- I I dating someone that is like void of like affection mm. is like, it's so foreign to me where like somebody doesn't want to be loved or somebody doesn't want to always be touched or, or have this, you know, relationship where like they want some security and affection. Yeah. It's so foreign to me, even though how fucked up my childhood was in a way, you still always go back to the fundamental love. You yeah. know what I mean? Of like touch, kiss, you know, there's yeah. something there. Yeah. If you meet someone that's void of that. Are you talking about comedians? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's fu- exactly, I, but I haven't fucked any male comedians yet. <laughs> and I, I don't re- think the and female I refuse ones, to fuck a female one. I was going to yeah. say, I don't think the female ones are faring much better. No, exactly. It's Have you lot. ever had sex with a female com- comic? Yeah. Have you ever had a relationship with them? No. Right. No. But I, I would say this on the... on. Neither of us should be fucking each other. And I know that it works yeah. to, with some people. Yeah. But to me, and they could say the same thing. So I'm not like yeah. being like, we're a bit, whatever. <clears throat> I feel like having sex with a female comedian is kind of like, I shouldn't even fucking, why did I walk myself down this path? I'll finish yeah. this sentence. No, why did I do this? Don't worry about it. I didn't it. have no. to do this. I, I like talking this. about Kid Rock. Stop it. <laughs> okay. This shit is more powerful fucking than any. Fucking a com- female comedian seems like putting your dick in a Ouija board. You don't know what demons <laughs> you're summoning. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. You don't like, you might play with it and it's like, oh, nothing happened here. Yeah. Or your house is haunted. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I, I feel, and they, I'm sure they could say the same. It's not like we're fucking regular human people. No. But you know what I'm saying? I just feel like you, you're taking a big, <laughs> Risk. If a comic started yelling "fuck my haunted house," <laughs> I would lose my shit, dude. Dude, it is bad. It is bad because it's like it's not good. Y- y- like the, uh, they do material about you. You do it's, material uh, about them. You that. feel weird. I would never want to. Yeah, I would never want to do material about exactly the person that is also doing material about me. Because you do hear it every once in a while. Somebody be like, "Oh yeah, my boyfriend wants me to pound him in the ass." You're like, "I know both of you." Yeah. This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I guess it's fine. But then uh, there was definitely a conversation. They were yeah. like, can I do this joke about how you want to be fucked in the ass? And it's like, well, are you going to fuck me in the ass first? Can that happen <laughs> as well? And yeah. then you do your little fucking 30 yeah. second clip yeah. bit. And it's also, it's the workplace. Yes, it's the workplace. Yeah, but I also <laughs> like. It I, is I, the kind I, of the workplace. I'm kind of in the mindset like I would never. Of course, I had jokes about like ex-girlfriends, but like they were they were never with a negative connotation. It was always like something goofy they said that was like fun and interesting, but yeah. never like about them deep enough that it would be like, I would well, never want to open that because I also don't want her talking about like my own shit. But you might get caught in a really interesting, very negative haunted house. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you want to talk about it. You have it. to talk about it. Yeah. Well, that's what we do. This and the, but then you feel like, well, I can't really because yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's if you wrong. have a rhino toe of yeah. a clitoris, I'm not going to fucking yap about it on stage. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to suck on it. I'm going to suck on it. I'm going to suck on like it. Like a the goddamn both man of our listening to Kid Rock in the fucking dark. <laughs> you take out a Walkman, just keep it all 90s. Yeah. <laughs> the yellow Press one? Press play, yeah. <laughs> when the fucking yes. skips yes. while you're sucking on it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing never fucking works. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it batteries again? Jesus Christ. Jesus yeah. Christ. Finish my rhino. We <laughs> <laughs> finish my Ouija. Dude, it's so funny. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I would uh I I wouldn't necessarily want to date a uh but mo- mostly because too, as a comedian, you want some kind of break. Yeah. Well, yeah you don't yes. want to walk into your house and it's what you already have in your head. Yeah. Yes. Somebody being like, Man, this thing didn't work. I'm nowhere. You're like, Yeah. We 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 you know, yeah, some break, the some old, sort of fucking break. The, the most consistent happiness I've had in, in long term relationships was somebody that has no attachment to any industry that I'm in. Yeah, I want a woman that's stable, has her own career, her own independence, her own group of friends, 
a nine to five, go do your thing. Obviously we're going to be on different schedules and it'll be difficult to navigate that. But I want the security of having someone next to me at night that calms all the bullshit. What yeah. kind of career? What kind of career? Yeah. Uh, high level corporate. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want a hot chick that did that dresses, oil rigger that dresses like a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want I want um, shout out lesbians. This is a fucking compliment. I was gonna say I don't uh, think uh, I don't think uh, high level corporate ladies are dressing like that. I think they got like yeah. I think they're ready. You know what I mean? We've moved on. But I was talking about the ninety three films. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. yeah. What I envision? Yeah, you want success. like a CFO? Yes. of a Fortune five hundred company. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. Damn, dude, you're getting tight ass worked up. Nah. Pencil dress or whatever. Oh yeah, heels. Oh my god, four sets of heels in her office. A blazer, and she takes the blazer off, and she's got a nice crisp fucking button up. Yeah, it's under nice, that but, another blazer. And there's three dudes coming in, going like, "Are you ready for your thing?" And she's like, "Not yet. I want to fucking I not yet." But she is ready. She's totally. She's ready. totally ready. She's she, not ready for them. She's yet. been ready for weeks. This but she woman wants is them. Yes. to sweat. This I get you. This woman is a Wall Street bull. Yeah, I hear you. But she pretends not, she's not. Yeah. I get you. When, Everybody in the office is like, oh, Rachel yeah. doesn't know what's going on. But right. Rachel, she's got a lot of fucking side shit God going on. Right. She's got she got the whole thing yeah. in her pocket. The yeah. second the CEO grabs another secretary, Rachel's fucking in Rachel's there. Rachel's got a the cape whole goddamn on. building. Jacket back on. Starbucks out the fucking window. Yeah. Rachel's zoned It comes dude. right back in like <laughs> a boomerang. <laughs> she's a <laughs> 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 little mocha crashes yeah, into the wall yeah, yeah. i get it yeah yeah i get it because you gotta get specific you, you know do. what i mean if you're gonna, yeah. if you're gonna caffeine find, boomerang chris <laughs> if you're gonna set your sights on this is the lady. most this is the most unrealistic <laughs> yeah no shit that's a fucking fantasy that's yeah that's the that's point the we're trying to get yes. where would you spend time with the person Oh, when she got home, <laughs> she's not going to get home. She's going to dinner. She's, she's going getting she's wheeling and dealing. Nah, you go to the you office. Her in the office. No, no, no. That'd be cool. She gets home. <laughs> 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 you look at me like I can make that happen. That'd be cool, dude. That part. I'll tell you what I do, man. Two chicks at the same time. Down, down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that space, part, dude. you got me. You yeah. got me there. Go, go to the office. They He's got a big in. enough office. He's yeah, back in. <laughs> well, you, you got, got me be, there. Now, if you're going to take the time, because here's what you can't do. You can't be like, <laughs> although want... getting turned away in the office would suck. <laughs> By you go, her? yeah, yeah. It's like I'm busy. Rage? You talking what? about my rage? <laughs> but this is what's gonna happen. And here's here's here, here's what he would do. If if Rachel, I'm giving her the name Rachel. Whatever she could be, whoever. I like that name. She got uh, she got and the heels. She's white though. I don't like that. No, Rachel can be fucking whatever. anything you oh, want. Oh, can she? Yeah. yeah, guys. Yeah. Okay, you know any Latin Rachels or Black Rachels? Black Rachels, yes. Yeah. You know a Black Rachel? Sure, I do. Get the fuck out! I of here, have Nathan. met him. You're, you're I talking. have met him. No. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've met him. He's no, met him the I, same way you remembered that bit. <laughs> like, the I'm thing certain with the it dad. happened. I'm certain it happened, but I can't Whoa, remember. I was trying to strum up a thing, and it fucking worked. All right, whatever. whatever. It's a Latin woman. Fucking... It's a Latin woman with whatever fucking name you want. Yeah, yeah. It's what, what Rachel. Name you want? It's... There's no way there was a Rachel that you knew it was black. What, what name you want? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> There's black Rachel. Let's There's look no black, black Rachels. Yes, there is. That's a shame. Their You're parents good. did them an injustice. Are there black Rachels? terrible name. <laughs> Rachels are dog shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Get Casper. <laughs> Rachels aren't allowed on them. The, so, the, 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 <laughs> Rachel <laughs> Dole is all. <laughs> the what? Dude. Man. Wow. Fucking. Wow. Yes, dude. Wow. The white woman wow. that wanted to be black wow. picked the wrong. She was a CEO, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> she was pretty high up. Is she single? She was pretty high Bro, up. Is she single? She's got to be single. She was pretty that high up. Unbelievable. She's pretty high up, man. How perfect. You're going over the that's office. Like a, that's You're going like to pound her set up it's like something we planned. Oh yeah, you watch your cadence on that, man. Oh I think I'll be fucking... God. I think crush it, Caroline. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. You gotta get... This is also what I'm saying. Yeah. So as, you gotta get specific because yeah. you can't just go like, I want a woman. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah. You gotta sit down. Of course. Fortune 5 Iron Company, whatever name you want, Latin, the height. The, you it's gotta all, do the whole thing. You gotta do the whole, whole thing. Right. But the whole idea is a facade. It's You just want somebody that's gonna support you and be... The juxtaposition between their career and my career would be a benefit. You know, they have their own thing, their own life, their own time, yet be supportive when 
You know what I mean? <laughs> I do, yeah. Because I don't want, I don't, I, you can't just be always be here. Yeah. You can't yeah. always be in my face and in my life with my friend. Like, I want you to have your own existence, <clears throat> but you want the support. At the end of the day, when shit is going awry, the same thing with her. The purpose of getting in the in the in the living room or the bedroom is like to align yourself and just drop all the bullshit and become one. Yeah, like a, like a, a <clears throat> fire in the woods while you're getting drunk and <laughs> yeah, you Doing know, a kid rock song. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a, it's a fucking that's that's the goal. But I think you know, you want to get deeper. It's like I don't know if it's possible. Hmm. I don't well, know. Yeah, I th I think the that, timing is a genuine problem. Yeah, and the That's level of expectation. Yeah. So people, people have this, this. Uh, <clears throat> there's a social construct around like marriage at a young age, which is fading. Now older people are getting divorced because it's acceptable, which is happening at the highest rate possible. Going forward, it's like being single at my age. Yeah, is like, oh, what's wrong with you? It's like, well, right maybe, it yeah, maybe I just haven't met someone that, that I wanted to settle down with because they don't meet all of my qualifications. Do you know who would agree with you? 20 year olds. And do you know what it's going to happen in 20 years? Nobody's going to be married. Yeah. Nobody's going to be with anybody. Right. Monogamy's dead. People are going to be <laughs> sucking on each other. Seriously. What yeah. Would the, what would be the point? What is what the point? What is the point? Everybody's going to have sucked a dick. The whole world. <laughs> Seriously. Someday, someday people are going to be like, you know, grandpa over here hasn't even sucked a dick. Yeah. I'm like, God. <laughs> He's so old. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's all gone. Marriage will be toast. The whole thing will yeah. be toast. You just, people I just get wanna... marriage. Yeah. But I do, I do believe, I've had an experience where like I could have married a woman. Where she was truly my best friend. Yeah. You know, what I could have, but I wouldn't do marriage. It would just be like, I'll be with you. Yeah. So you're not, What's so you're against marriage. Yeah. There you go. You just, you just, wow. I think it's 180 is in, in the same <laughs> sentence. Yeah. I think I, I think I'd like to do Contractually, it. Contractually, like though. Marriage, no, you're saying, in terms of, of being with somebody. Yeah, being with somebody. But that you don't have to go to the government. You don't want to walk down the aisle. No. You don't fuck with that. That's marriage, no. though. This marriage is, what, is not two people being together. You know who's got it right? Go ahead. Gays. They get married. My gay friend Bobby, everything he tells me, I'm like, you guys are fucking, he's married to a man. Yeah. They have this relationship where they, they just, they talk to one another and they're like, yeah, I'm going to have sex with this person. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. Wrap it up. Be careful. Be safe. You are my partner for life. That's where I we're going. I love you. That's where we're headed. I fucking love this you. This is where we're Of headed. course. You're, you're, they're you're, way ahead of the curve. Yeah, but we're going, the younger people are getting there and then 20 years from now. First of all, 20 years, the people that are zero right now, when they're 20, they're going to be twitching and vibrating and all that kind of shit because of just staring at a screen forever and whatever. But- <laughs> They will not be with one just one person. No, they can't. will be covered and come by many people, <laughs> and they will be happier for it. Yeah, they got these tits on a Monday. They got the person they go home with and go like, "Oh, you, this bullshit lady bit my dick." Yeah, and then they kiss each other and they go to right. bed. Right, you're my best friend. You're my best friend. I'll see you at breakfast. <sighs> yeah, you wouldn't let your lady fuck another guy. I don't think these. Guys, I don't think they're gonna. No, no, <laughs> no. And I, I don't see. I, I think they're all. All these kids are all riddled with anxiety and stuff, and social problems, and well, that's all the kinds. other. So, like, yeah. I don't see them being confident enough to do this polyamory shit. And I also think that, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that polyamory stuff works. Well, what you, you know, because it's it's all like the, either the dude. It's like the only two people really make that work, and it's like a dude who's a cult leader or the hottest chick on earth. And there's always a crazy power dynamic. No hot, there's always one ugly person and one. A hot woman. So you're saying the hot one is with an ugly guy and he just deals with it because she's so hot. Yeah, or he's got money. Well, he's a yeah. fucking loser. Also, a woman, a woman doesn't have to be hot to <laughs> yeah. suck a dick. Like, right. They just walk outside. Like, not also, why are you outside. with somebody that's not like money? I mean, truly, for what? Like, why? What do you mean? If you're a lady who wants needs to money, yeah, yeah, she's lady, a fucking loser. Your lady or, or, says to you, yeah, she's like. What, what what if she said like this? We can each let's each sleep with one other person a year. Yeah. In out. Are you really getting hung up on another man's dick? I he think is, it's Pandora's right box, and it's not even it's a real Pandora's dick. box. It's not a real He's dick. already hung up. I think it's yeah. Pandora's box. So he can't box. do it. So that's a that's a. There's no way you can no. do it. And that's Neither fine. could you. I could absolutely do this. <laughs> I believe I could too. Yeah. 
I did, like I, I've paid a I, lot of tax. Yeah. What, what, My what girl the, goes to fucking I don't know Guatemala or some shit. She's like, look, I'm at this fucking bar. Yeah, they'd have I'm gonna to be knock around by a bartender. It's like, all right, do you think? Knocked around. I'm gonna get <laughs> not nineteen twenties fucked. <laughs> no way. There is no way. Here's the rule I would have. You would spaz. Who the Especially fuck are you he's pretending a, you are? Bermuda shorts. That's my dream. He's not going to spaz. Dude, that's my dream. There's a no. corduroy shorts. He's that's a ruse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an elaborate <laughs> ruse. That dude. color could be ruse. And si- <laughs> sitting like a grandpa with one leg over the other, that's all fake. Nah, dude. It's pure the one rule I, I would... fought for this rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. What the hell are we doing? What do you, yeah. you know, I, Who cares? Yeah, who the cares? Day, who gives a fuck? We're all going to be dead. Do you want to get to the end of your life? And you're like, oh, great. I, my lady didn't suck another dick, but also, what did I? I didn't yeah, fuck so that. Yeah, so you lived miserably yeah. forever. You want another pair of and tape? fucking took it out in your kids. In your mouth? What yeah. the hell are we That's doing? what you want. Yeah, yeah. you want to relive kids? your whole childhood? Yeah. Yeah, I want. No, you don't. I, I want to. No, I, you don't. Yes. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. You don't want fuck six men. Yeah. kids. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, if I'm if I'm should... on my deathbed and all I've done is just fucked and sucked my way well, let me to, this, this, to, this, to the grave, this. that's not all you've done. All that you've done. Be, yeah, good that's for you. All and I done. never made a commitment to anybody <laughs> or tried to. You're making a commitment to me. It doesn't have to be a woman. Can you imagine? Be a woman. That's what I got. It. That's that's gonna be my last thought. I committed to Tom. Baby, look at me. Baby. <laughs> I love you, baby. This is the, I'll my, fucking hold this you tonight. You got a problem? <laughs> you know, nice. seriously though. Casper mattress. Let me ask. <laughs> You're making a commitment. I got Stop no. Saying, I got you, no you family. You fucking better pay us. What's Casper. the fucking? What is it? DraftKings. Yeah, DraftKings. We'll I lost get, seventy-eight we'll get, we'll get million dollars. I got no family. <laughs> I got nothing. I got Tommy on my. You have Sitting this next to my dad. Sitting next to my deathbed. He's like, come on, man. We had fun. You gonna finish that vape? Dude, I'm three. That doesn't sound terrible. I'm serious. Thank what you. do you guys have right Thank here? You, Nathan. I'm not fucking with you. It, you Bro. know what you could have? Because look, you could have a lady who is great. You know what you also could have? A fucking you're now you're living outside of Schenectady. You got a, a lady that you can't fucking stand. You got a house yep. you can't afford. You don't give a shit. I know. You got a basement. I you have know. one fucking room in it with a bunch of bullshit Cubs decorations. I Who know. gives a fuck? Stay with Tommy. <laughs> fuck it's a me, fun dude. time. I've, I've been fun trying to fuck you for years. <laughs> fuck me tonight, dude. <laughs> I know. We've got a what if you, that's why I'm not in a relationship. Let me ask you this. What? It's so wild to me to find like an adult get jealous over something with a girlfriend. I've been in experiences where younger years, I'd be like, oh, well, you think that bartender's hot or whatever. And then you get to this point where it's like, dude, everybody should be looking at someone. Oh, me. You're out of your fucking mind if you don't think Dude. the person you're with isn't attracted to somebody else. Me and my girlfriend. You psychopath. We just had this conversation and we have it all the time. Because this, 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 there's, there's no, there's no, there, everybody, look, they're, they're just like us. They're just like us. <laughs> I know. They're just like I us. I know. So, you know, when you're like, man, I'd love to jam my face into that woman's ass. They're on the train going, I'd love that man to, to fucking choke, fuck me, choke, fuck me in yeah. front of this fucking, yes. at my, put my yes. face on the fucking yes. end symbol yes. on the train. That's a sexual. Fuck my head in the goddamn bars. Yes. yes. Okay. So. So, it, so the two people walk the earth just quelling these? Yeah. yeah. For, right. For yeah. what? For what? Yeah. What fucking pride do you have? Yeah. Diplomacy. Year? Diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> you and John Adams. <laughs> is that one of the... No, Samuel yeah, Adams yeah, yeah, is yeah, the yeah, beer. Yeah, I was going to be like, is that one of the fucking... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The it's one of the guys. Yeah. One of the boys. <laughs> I always ask this question. Like... <clears throat> <laughs> if your fucking tumor that you were saying grew so bad, you're on your deathbed at your age right now. God yeah. forbid, my baby, 37. God forbid, my baby boy <laughs> goes, goes to sleep when I'm not ready. <laughs> but if you were married and you're like, would you be okay knowing Shit. she's going to, no, I like that. Would you be a <laughs> speech? Would you be okay? <laughs> Bell tolls for thee. <laughs> oh, my John Adams impression. Here, <laughs> here. Would you be okay? Like, I'd be the first to be like, yo, get fucking railed tonight. Get banged up after the funeral. Get pounded out. Would you be okay with your wife moving on? And would that be part of your message? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, once, once All I'm right. dead. What if she came if, in with the guy? Yeah. What if she was like, yo, see this guy's dick? And it, it's like <laughs> huge. You can see it in the pants. And he's he said. I'd, I'd be like, I should have stuck with Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd let him go. <laughs> For this? <laughs> 
This is not what I wanted. Obviously, that part's not going to happen, but yes, you're going to want. At least it was funny. (laughs) If you're fucking, yeah, but you're going to want your goddamn lady to fucking, if you like this lady. Yes. Because there's some people that die, though, and they go, I hope you never meet a person. Promise me you'll never talk to anybody. (laughs) You'll never look another person in the eyes again. No, I'm dead. I don't exist. on this earth? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. Do you not, like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. Again, you, you you took out the crucial part. We both said you have one person yeah. that you they they have all the real stuff. Yeah. The other people are just like you're just coming on them. What do you what do you yeah. care? You're animals. We we live in a world. Every day you leave your house, you see the hottest person you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Every day yeah. I fall in love every day in New yeah. York. Every every day cock sucking day on the yeah. way here. I'm not kidding you. I saw a girl. And was I was like. Holy shit. I stopped at Sea Town to get a fucking banana. Yeah, and mine almost came yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> Some lady reaching for a fucking kombucha, and you go, "What is that?" Yes, you don't have parents. Yeah, you were made in a factory. Yeah, for this, for right. this, right? I won't f- stop thinking about that woman for forty eight hours, and that until you see another one. Yeah, they they don't. It just keeps, right. So again, imagine denying that uh, objectivity and going. What well, are you just looking to, at? Just to show, oh, are you man. looking at her? Yes. Like fucking yeah, she's beautiful. And so are you. You're yes. also yes. looking. Yes. You also saw her. And that's okay. And you're probably angrier about it than I am. Yeah. Let's like the fact that when you hear and there's somebody men out like, there too, and there's a, a woman will also see because you've seen men where you're like, shit, look at this. I, I say I that know. first. I'll too. be the first to compliment a guy. Yeah. Dude, he's fucking hot as shit. Look at this fucking ass. This guy's beautiful. There was, a, there was a guy the other day you I see, saw. Did, he was sitting on a, on, a, on a hydrant. He had a fucking like leather go bag. <laughs> this guy was on his way to work. He had fucking long hair, a blazer, jacket, <laughs> pants. Too hot for any of this. But I was looking at this guy, me and a few people. We were like, this guy's 6'8", and he Fucks. Yes. That whole fucking yes. bag, there's nothing but condoms in there. <laughs> so if we're talking about it, there's no way women aren't fucking crashing a city bike to see this but, fucking but, bag. Yes. So why are we why are we th- this was, Because this okay, is let's say you wind up in a in a tense, intense business negotiation and you sit down at the table and it just so happens that the guy sitting down across from you has fucked your girl. It's gonna change the outcome of the negotiation. You're saying, wait, what? That you don't want your yes, lady to fuck Yes, he's got a psychological you might, advantage. You might enter, You might enter into a fucking d- d- car dealership with well, this, this is, fucking this guy. Is, yeah, this and then you're also, trying to negotiate against this guy, and this he knows chance. he fucked your wife. This is your chance to show him why she sleeps with you at night and not just gets off. Also, you can go, yo, dude. He's gonna take you crown. for you fuck, you everything. Fuck my wife. You go, you fucked my wife. How about this? 80, 20. No, then all, everyone yeah. standing yeah. around 80, 20. me, 80, 20. everyone, everyone, yeah. everyone standing around me that once had respect for me is like, yeah. that guy fucked your wife. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, we just you know, do this thing doors. where these people are, come on her and it doesn't people. matter. <laughs> that, doesn't it? It doesn't matter, it does right? Matter. They're like, yeah, it matters. These other freaks. I can't though. follow you into the fucking gates of hell. Dude, the other <laughs> Your wife's freaks. getting jizzed on by everyone we're fighting. So what? The other freaks that are locked in their head of like, you think it's okay? They're locked in their heads. Yes. They're still in this old fucking 1972 model yeah. of meet a lady in got at, at lunch yeah. in in high school, yes. marry her at 19, buy a bullshit house yeah. you both hate, have jobs <laughs> nobody likes. 100%. Nobody likes. 100%. Buy cars you can't afford. Yes. You know, most people are fucking broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. got 90 kids. They, and they did it because of that. Oh, yes. what are people going to think? Dude. Meet a lady you like. Have a, some sort of a conversation where it's like, we're going to be fucking, let's be gay guys. Dude, Can we just live like gay I guys? I fucking <laughs> wish. I wish every fucking day. You know when an eyelash falls out of my fucking head? That's the wish? Every time I pick it up, wish I was gay. No, don't wish to be gay. You don't wish to be gay. Simplify all this bullshit. Wish, wish for straight relationships to no, be I gay. Don't. Nathan. To be gay. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to Margaritaville okay. tonight. Okay. <laughs> I might see a lady. What do you, you imagine? Can, can I imagine? <sighs> yes, I can. And here's what it's gonna take. <laughs> no, you... Here's what it's gonna take when when we're not if we're not gay, I guess. Money. So Tommy, get back into stand up comedy. True. You're coming back. We make a couple million bucks, and you can do whatever the fuck you want. If you yes. put food in the fridge. It's a beautiful dream. Guys. It's a beautiful dream. It is not possible. DraftKings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Draft your wife. Bro. Draft your Get your wife out there. Draft her. Football season's <laughs> upon us. You want a stable of whores? You're going to need to bet your way 
Yeah, do you don't you think that's gonna stop people from going to DraftKings? Do you want a stable of whores? Yeah, they're no. like, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, hell yeah, man! <laughs> that's just an advertisement. Well, Thirty bucks on the Eagles. Oh, yes, you were saying it positively. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You got to get some cash. I got to read this. Your job's not. Oh, gonna... you, you can't just riff the it. The wait's over. I can riff it, <clears throat> but this is <laughs> well, it's gambling. So they go got ahead. all right. Look, they got specific stuff you got to yeah, say. Go ahead, man. I apologize. They're no, selling an illicit that. product. I hear this. The Eagles season started. I grew up in a almost a loveless household because my father and mother couldn't afford three kids. They had three kids accidentally. The first one was probably purposeful, but it was forced marriage at a very young age due, due to archaic mentality. You had to get one at 23. If you were single at 25 back then, you're damaged. Something's wrong with you. So you marry somebody that you're not comfortable with. You have your first child to make a sense of normalcy around your front yard that you can't fucking afford. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You build debt. You take a job you don't want. <laughs> Dude, one hundred percent. You yeah. go out and get debt. You what are you not a, in debt? You take a job you don't want. You don't fucking want to wake up for. So every day you wake up to get your kids ready for school that you can't afford as well. You're you're envious <laughs> of their future because you made the wrong decisions at an age that they hopefully <laughs> will be smart enough to not make. Your youngest kid gets old enough to drop off the tit. The wife doesn't want to fuck you. So she wants another kid because she wants unconditional love drop off from another tit? baby. Drop off the tit, yeah. That means you're not paying <laughs> for them too anymore. heavy. Oh, I thought you meant you're not paying for them anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that is some fucking That's what dad was. left you fucking energy. <laughs> 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 Dude, I truly believe this is why we had my mother had a third kid. They say it's accidental, but oh, she just wanted unconditional love of another child suckling her because you just see they, she felt something for a while because they fell out of love early. Life's hard, and you want to make it harder why are we by here? not fucking people. <laughs> what you want to make life harder? I, I'm saying fuck all you want. Fuck all you want. I don't, I'm free love, baby. <laughs> free love. I'm just saying. Life is so hard. I'm just. Yeah. I'm just saying. Don't think that. Trackings. Your fuck everyone situation <laughs> doesn't have its downsides. There it, are oh, there does. are consequences. Life has downsides. Life's life is yeah. life is fucking. Life is a goddamn. Life is a highway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a highway. I'm gonna ride I'm it gonna all ride night. Ride it all night long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Who is that? <laughs> Tom Cochran. <laughs> Tom Cochran. Is it? I believe so. That's who sings. Let me look yeah. it up because no. that's Canada's own <clears throat> if I'm Continue on. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. No, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> what I had an ending to that, but um, get ready for the NFL Week One action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner in the NFL. To celebrate the return no. of football, DraftKings is giving a customer a can't miss offer. Bet five dollars on any football game and get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly. Want more action on opening night? Experience the thrill DraftKings early win promotion. Tom Cochran. It, really? Yeah, that's, that's very impressive. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, if you put that in. That in, is... in, in I, I wouldn't guess that ever. I went to Canada for college. But then you grow up in Canada. Yes. That's the well, then what are you stupid. talking about? I was kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. That's the whole stupid. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's I'm locked okay. into an ad. I, I know. Lose, I keep I lose my sense of humor. I keep fucking up the ad, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Very Canadian. Oh, that was the first, yeah. The One first more story. action on... <clears throat> Bet on any NFL team of your choice, and if your NFL team wins by leads by seven points at any point during the game, you get paid instantly. Even your team loses, you get still you still get paid. DraftKings is safe, <laughs> safe, secure. <laughs> DraftKings wears condoms. It's secure and it's reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook Sportsbook app now and use promo code Stuff Island to get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly. When you place a bet of five dollars on any football game, that's code Stuff Island, all one word. Only DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner in the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. And you'll see uh, the, the notes in in, <clears throat> in the show. Notes. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. Well, we did that. Yeah, man. You can gamble. We did. Call like, your parents. That was literally like the the opening to Lucky Number Eleven. What you just did. Really? Yeah, yeah. The guys like. He's like, he's like struggling. He like has a kid. He has got a wife. Yeah. And uh, he gets like a, a line on a horse. Dude, here's the thing. And then though. he bets it and the mob shoots him in the head. The, 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 it's literally the opening to 300 million people in this country. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Yes. Yeah. I'm serious. Dude. And Canada. Like, dude, 
the Western world beat us down for so long. Yeah. You know how many people I meet, actually? It, it's, it, it, it's getting louder. Because I talk, you know, sometimes on stage, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to have kids and uh, whatever. And I've had people now be like, I would not do it again. They're like, I love my kids. Yeah. But if I could go back, I would not do this again. Really? I talked to a fucking seven-year-old woman the other day who was like, when I was coming up, that's what was told to me. This, this, yeah. this, and this. She yeah. goes, if I could go back, I love my son. I like my grandson. She loves her grandson, whatever. But she goes, <laughs> I would never get married. I wouldn't I wouldn't have kids. So so there's some people from the, the few. It's like Jim Carrey. Jim yeah. Carrey's like, I hope everybody gets rich and famous so they'll know it's not the answer. There are some people out there that are like, hey, guess what? Marriage and kids are not the answer. But yeah. then there's some people that are like, but I want to go to Costco. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what am I going to do on a Sunday if I don't fucking drag some bag of shit to the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> and then they go, wait a minute. I didn't, I don't want, you yeah. mean I could just get, you mean I could just get, you mean I could get and afford a cappuccino? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah. I could just afford a cappuccino? Yeah. Or a trip to Sicily. Man. Yeah. The but- amount of money. <clears throat> Dude, when you see your parents shift from <clears throat> adoration from one another to adoration to their kids to like the fucking winter of their years and understand that they're only happy with grandchildren because then they can be the parent they wanted to be for you. I watched my father from uh, overrun, underpaid, incredible Superman of a, of, of a person, but like just a thousand miles an hour in every direction could never settle down. So for that reason, he didn't know how to develop an emotional existence with his children in a way where he couldn't talk to me about certain things. We had this this conversation last night about about college. Yeah. Never once did my parents sit down on my fucking bed and say, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? There was no intimate relationship because they were running on fucking empty all day long. Because of this same fucking mentality that's bred into them. If you want a child, that's great. Yes. Let's talk about, fu- you, you don't even have to get into the, the the dynamics of having a family. Same thing goes for c- going to college. 100%. Uh, buying a house. 100%. All the facades that uh-huh. are being fed to us for fucking generations is gone. Yes. By the wayside. Yes. You don't have to go to college to be successful. Nope. You know, you, you could show your school. fat weird tits on TikTok, dude, and fucking true. make a lot of fucking you, money. You could be a child soldier, break out of the Congo, yeah, get a phone. You're fucking hosting the MTV Awards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you know, what I'm there's, there's, there's no, true. It's done. It's done. Done. It's done. It's but there's still difficult there's transition. Still fucking, yeah, these old timers. The white picket <laughs> fence. Old timers. Yeah. If my yeah. wife looks at this guy yeah. one more fucking time. <laughs> Sit I'm gonna dislocate garage, a knuckle on a fucking Listen to fucking hand. classic rock. <laughs> dude, fixing nothing. Yeah. Bunch of tools that do dick. Yeah. And then also looking out the the window at another cocksucker <laughs> and being like, "Oh, that family looks happy." And guess what? They're not happy. <laughs> this stance, I love it. What? I'll well, let you just, finish. This this whole thing is so. This is uh, the most ridiculous thing I've ever. What heard. do you mean? The idea that you're not an insanely jealous person. No, is, I'm not. Oh, please. But anyway, you want to, you gotta have kids. <laughs> Why? Because you need someone to defend you. That's in the future. One of the craziest what? things no, I've ever heard. Wait, Wait, I, I get it. Actually, hold on. Because Nathan when you become just now meeting Chris dude, for the first dude, time, dude, dude, you, yeah, buddy. That's so. This, but I get it. Unwind when this you boy? start to get old. No, I get it. You're it's like, the it's like fucking a, Serengeti. It's dude. like sea turtles. Like yeah, little yeah. Baby but sea isn't turtles. that great though? Like thinking about being alone in the desert. No, there's you're alone fucking right now. lions and hyenas. You're, you are alone right Chris, now. Chris, you're training. Yeah, but I got... You're training for... No, because the mind, the mind starts to go. Who gives a shit? The mind doesn't have to go, dude. Oh, it Who does. Who gives it a shit? It doesn't, it doesn't. I'm telling <laughs> you, it doesn't. The mind starts also, to go. It doesn't have shit? to go. It doesn't have it's to go. Like, it's biological. What are you do? Who, go to a... Uh, People come after you. Who's gonna come after <laughs> Everyone, you? Everyone, as mob. an old man. Look, the mob has always no, wanted dude, a piece. Who's coming they, after they, you? they know how no. strong you are. They know how many guns you have on no, you. No, the mob. They wait until the you're mob, seventy, no. eating soup. Bam! Right yeah. to the back the mob, of the head. Now, what a great the way mob, to go out. The mob's dead because kind of the mob's dead because the mob's city bank. Tomato, might as well go. No, blood. no, no, no. I, I'd go uh, Greek with orzo, lemon, lemon, lemon. Good, good soup. soup to die in. Yeah. A lemon could kind of like clean your, <laughs> it could clean Dude, your fucking yo. the bullet hole. Do you know what I mean? The citrus, <laughs> yeah, the citrus will clean die. your head. A nice dark mouth <laughs> taking a fucking lead bullet. 
It's a good who's gonna make that? Right who's gonna make that soup for you? Me. No, you don't. That's why I'm no. training now. No. Mike's Diner. No, Go no, to a goddamn no. Diner. No, you don't have any money because someone pitched you a reverse mortgage and you're too stupid. <laughs> you didn't have. You didn't have the. You have no wits problem, about though. you, but you still signed They're the not paper. Anymore They're not there's a whole. There's a whole lot. We all live in tubes. We live in tubes in the woods. That's why you rent. Yeah, this is why you don't rent, get a mortgage. Rent, rent. rent your wife, rent your house, <laughs> rent your dude, friends. You don't own anything. Fuck everybody. You dude. don't own anything. You don't own anything. You don't even own yourself, dude. You don't, <laughs> dude. Lemon orzo soup. I got to piss. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> wow. Is that on camera? The double slap. Am I? Is this done? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm like done. oh shit. Okay, good. <laughs>